Yo guys, welcome back to part two of the series on making low poly characters. Let's add the feet. So select the ankle, extrude it down, and then drag this back. Drag this back also. Let's S it zero, these two pieces. And then select the front face and then SX. Okay, cool. Let's uh, fold these in and then extrude this out. Wait, extrude Y and then go back to side view. G Y. Okay, cool. Actually, let's wait. What I like doing is see, so drag it down here, then you get another piece drag it here and then you select here shift s curse to select it and then number uh, period on the keyboard and then select this shift s curse to selected and rotate just so you get a better length foot whatever doesn't really matter just the thing i'd like doing okay so go to front view gx what you can also do is select the whole foot Control r and h so you just have the foot to work on and then drag this out bevel Okay, just drag it in, drag this piece out, what is the foot shape? Okay, cool. That's the feet. So let's work on the hands. So Alt H, so we get the whole body back. Wait. looks a bit big so drag this back okay cool that's fun and then select the hands extrude scale on the Y axis rotates okay cool and then Drag this in and then drag this in. Okay, cool. Let's go to top view, screw this out. This is for the thumb. This is like the base of the thumb. Okay, cool. And extrude this out. So Let's drag this back here and then drag this back here as well. Make this back into a square. So it actually looks like a thumb and not a weird elongated, I don't know. <laughs> and then we can add an edge loop into this and then so we can make so we can actually make it look more like a thumb whatever select the body again select the base of the thumb or well, the tip and then we can rotate wait and we can also just go Y so we can see how to model hand and then so we drag this back, drag this here. This is hard everything but the thumb, I mean the hand. And then you can drag this in, G, G, 
Yoshi. G. Okay. So let's extrude this down. And then drag this down. As you can see, this does not look like much like fingers. <laughs> okay, so select these, drag them down, and then add an edge loop, G, and then uh, double G. Let's actually make this a bit shorter. And then let's drag this piece up. And then drag this one in. Now, let's, let's change this. Um, okay, so let's select the thumb. Drag these back out. Select the, this edge loop here, drag this down, drag this down, select these vertices, delete, 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 select this edge, drag that down, okay, so then we can drag these, select all of them, extrude, can edit it from here okay so select this edge loop and then extrude down again and then go to side view Okay, so it's F, F, and then okay, cool. So let's make the palm. can be fiddly sometimes I'm trying to model them properly okay cool that looks better so let's go select so what we're gonna do alt H select here control B and then V for vertex and then do that delete the face and then take the knife tool select here enter knife corner to the middle enter and then you have a circle so let's select this circle and then we can rotate it okay cool go to side view let's get our reference image back and then rotate it to where the neck is in the reference image so then select and then extrude scaled up okay cool so then GX 